हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिवीजन कैन बी ट्रिकी समटाइम्स स्पेशली व्हेन द डिवाइजर इज अ टू डिजिट नंबर लाइक 23 हियर और अ थ्री डिजिट नंबर फॉर दैट मैटर आई एम गोइंग टू सिंपलीफाई दिस प्रोसेस फॉर यू इन दिस वीडियो यूजिंग द मेथड कॉल्ड द पार्शियल कोशेंट मेथड so this is something which you might not have used in uh, practical life when you are actually doing the calculations but if you try this will prove quite useful especially in cracking the multiple choice questions of simplifications where you need some quick methods through which you can save time so watch the entire video and try to apply the trick to solve 20 30 such questions i'm sure you are going to uh, take benefit out of this and if you have not clicked the subscribe button till now please do it now and along with that click the uh, the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications of future uploads on the channel so watch the first example which i am going to take up i'll take a two digit number first so that you believe in the trick and start uh, you know actually practicing it and uh, in subsequent examples i'll take a single digit and then i'll take triple digit divisor also Suppose I have to divide three hundred and twenty-seven by twenty-three. See, three twenty-seven divided by twenty-three. I should know the twenty-three times table, right? And that's difficult for anybody, even for me. If you ask me, twenty-three uh, times table, I'll fumble. Now, I know that twenty-three times ten is two hundred and thirty. and that is quite uh, close to three twenty-seven. I don't want to get closest to this. i want to remain in my comfort zone because i know 23 times 10 at least i don't know 23 times 8 or 23 times 6 but times 10 is very easy so i want to do the easy stuff okay so just subtract 230 from this and you have to uh, remember that the quotient is 10 here now this is the partial quotient this is not the exact quotient which we want for the question okay Now, if you subtract two hundred and thirty, you get seven and nine, right? Ninety-seven. Now, again, I need to uh, have a multiple of twenty-three, which you know can get me closest to ninety-seven. So, if I don't know twenty-three times table, or, or I don't want to get get into serious multiplication, then I can do quotient as one and subtract twenty-three from this, and keep on subtracting twenty-three, twenty-three, twenty-three uh, as many times as I can. But the double of twenty-three, at least we know that, right? Forty-six, and the double of forty-six is ninety-two. So if I take the quotient as four, twenty-three four times, or the double of double of twenty-three is ninety-two, and that gives me a five, which becomes the remainder, and the quotient is the partial quotient ten and the partial quotient four. They add up to the quotient. 14 so the answer for the question when you divide 327 by 23 you will get quotient as 14 and the remainder as 5 now looks little haphazard you know when you see it for the first time but let's apply it on a single digit number that will be more comfortable because most of us know the single digit uh, tables right so here we have 3145 and now i'm go going to get rid of these uh, huge steps because so many of you will argue if we have to write all these steps why don't we do it using the traditional approach so i am going to eliminate this long division process now 3145 divided by 7 now suppose i don't uh, know the exact multiples of 7 which gets me closest to 3145 so i remain in my comfort zone as i said earlier 3145 and 7 fours are 28 right So I'll subtract twenty eight hundred from this because that is an obvious multiple of seven. So this will give me what two hundred and three hundred forty five, right? Three forty five. Now the quotient which I have to rem remember is I did seven fours are twenty eight and two zeros. So this is the partial quotient because this is the multiplier I used, right? Now three hundred and forty five the remainder here. I again go for some multiple of seven, which gets me closest to three forty-five, and again I will remain in my comfort zone. So seven four times is twenty-eight. So forty times, how about taking forty times? 
सेवन फोर्टी टाइम्स इज टू हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी दैट इज स्टिल बिलो थ्री फोर्टी फाइव राइट सो द डिफरेंस इज सिक्सटी फाइव एंड नाउ सिक्सटी फाइव माइनस नाउ इफ आई नो माई सेवन टाइम्स टेबल वेल एंड गुड इफ आई डोंट नो स्टिल आई कैन डू वॉट एवर मल्टीपल आई नो ऑफ सेवन लाइक सेवन फाइव आर थर्टी फाइव आई कैन गो फॉर ए पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन फाइव पार्शियल प्रोडक्ट रादर फाइव एंड देन टेक थर्टी फाइव एज अ नंबर टू बी सब्रैक्टेड But if I know seven times table, seven nine times is sixty three. That will give me a two here, and two becomes the remainder. And what is the quotient? The quotient is obtained by adding all the partial quotients. That is four hundred plus forty plus nine. That is four hundred and forty nine. Now you can check three one four five divided by seven. The quotient will be four forty nine, and the remainder will be two. Now likewise. If the problem involves a little bit of like big numbers, we have twenty three thousand seven hundred and sixty one here, and you want to divide that by a very awkward multiplier there thirty seven. Thirty seven is an awkward number. Why? Because it's a prime number, and the table of thirty seven. Uh, you know, if I don't remember the table of thirty seven, so I use the partial quotient method to divide this. So let's start with. Two, three, seven, six, one, and now see thirty-seven. I need to take some multiple of thirty-seven which I am comfortable with. Okay, so I will start with a multiple like uh, how about thirty-seven times three? That's a very uh, uh, interesting number actually. Thirty-seven times three is uh, the triplet, triple one, right? So I know that thirty-seven times three is triple one. If you don't know it. You can do thirty-seven times one as thirty-seven. At least we know that, right? But the number of steps, the number of partial quotients will increase if you take a lower number. So, you know, you have to go as far as you can. Thirty-seven times three is my comfort zone, so I have taken hundred and eleven, and hundred and eleven is a three-digit number. Here we have a five-digit number, so I will go for multiplication by three hundred. Which will give me one 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 zero zero, right? So what did I do? I multiplied thirty seven by three hundred to get triple one double zero. So now I will subtract triple one double zero from this, and I will remember the partial quotient. That is important. The quotient is three hundred, right? In the first step. So the difference here is sixty one will remain as such one two six. So one two six. And now again, triple one zero, triple one double zero is very close to this. So I'll go for another partial quotient of three hundred, and so one two six six one minus triple one double zero will give me a sixty one, and then uh, one five one five six one. So see the dividend. This number is slowly decreasing, and that's what I want. And I'm writing the partial quotients uh, alongside. Now one five six one. Now I need to get closer to one five six one. For that, now I will take thirty seven into three triple one again. But I will take triple one with a single zero because I have to remain uh, below this number. So in place of three hundred, now the partial quotient becomes thirty. So triple one zero. How much is that? So one and four five four fifty one. So you can keep on reducing it like this. See, four hundred and fifty-one. Now I have to take a multiple of thirty-seven, which gets me closest to four fifty-one. Pretty obvious. See, if I take ten, thirty-seven times ten is three seventy. So what will I get? I'll get eighty-one here, and that's that's it. The last step will give me thirty-seven two times is seventy-four, which is seven here, right? So what was the last one? I took thirty-seven two times, so two. And now the uh, sum of all the partial quotients will give me the final quotient for the problem, and that is three hundred six hundred six forty-two six hundred and forty-two. Now you can pick up the calculators and you can check the quotient is six forty-two and the remainder is seven. So. the method works wonderfully well you know you need to take up the partial quotient which 
suits you see i am doing according to my uh, convenience so you have to do whatever suits you the best i'll take a big example now see 49644 and divi uh, division by 126 big question right so i'll do it see now the number 49644 if i take the quotient as 300 so 3 times 126 is 378 so 378 followed by two zeros and that will give me a difference of 44811 so the partial quotient is 300 likewise 11844 and now i'll take the partial quotient as say 50 uh 126 the half is 63 and double zero so 6300 and that gives me 5544 see i'm slowly reducing the number the third step 5544 minus uh 50 will take me above this number right so i have to stay below this let's take 40 And if I take forty, then zero, and a four times means twenty-four. Four, two, ten means zero, and a one, so five. Five zero four zero, so that gives me five zero four. And finally, five zero four minus. I think I have to do four times now. Quotient is four, so four times this is oh exactly five zero four. So this gives me a zero. So the remainder is zero in this case. And the quotient comes out to be three hundred fifty three ninety three ninety four. Three hundred and ninety four is the quotient when I divide this big number by one twenty six with no remainder left. So you can see, friends, partial quotient me method is you know when you are afraid of big calculations, you can actually do what you already know and uh, do one step at a time. according to your convenience and then add all the partial quotients to get the final quotient so work on this method and i think this is not going to be a difficult job for you 20 30 questions 2 hours that's it that's all you need to uh, put in right so share this video with all your friends so that they can also learn these amazing tricks through which you can make calculations easier and all the best for your practice